Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it, and share it with a friend if you might need it. This video was requested by some down in the comments, so if you have something you'd like me to do, leave it down in the comments, and I'll check it out. So for the song, because I was going to be standing tuning it, and strings are going to be in open strings, so you don't need a capo. Also, I'm just going to be strumming the chords, I'm not really going to be playing the fucking pattern. So first thing I'm going to start off is going to be an intro, first thing I'm going to play is going to be a B chord, but that's going to be 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, 7th string, 4th fret. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then go to A chord, but that's gonna be fifth string open, fourth string second fret, third string second fret, second string second fret. Mm -hmm. Then go to uh, E chord, but that's gonna be sixth string open, fifth string second fret, fourth string second fret, third string first fret, second string open. Then you play down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then you go into the verse. So the verse is gonna start out the same way as the intro. So. Then you go to a C sharp. Play is gonna be fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string, sixth fret, third string, sixth fret, second string, sixth fret. And then you play the same string pattern that you play for the E. And then you go to a F sharp. Play that is gonna be fifth string, ninth fret, fourth string, eleventh fret, third string, eleventh fret, second string, eleventh fret. Strum down once. And then go to a G sharp, pretty much same thing you're playing right now, but just move it up two frets. Then strum down one more time. And then go to an A chord, pretty much same thing you're playing right now, but just move it up one fret. And then you go to a B chord. So this is how the verse sounds like. Mm -hmm. Repeat the whole thing one more time and then go into the chorus. So, the chorus is going to start with an E chord, but this one's going to be on the fifth fret. So, it's going to play that's going to be fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, ninth fret, seventh string, ninth fret. Strum down twice. And then you go to an E flat five, but that's going to be fifth string, sixth fret, fourth string, eighth fret, third string, eighth fret. Strum down twice. Then you go to a D chord, pretty much same thing as the E chord, but just move it down tw two frets. And then strum down as well. Then play A chord, strum down twice as well. Then B chord, strum down four times for the B chord. So you're gonna repeat that three times for the chorus. So side chorus sounds like. And then you play uh, the end part that you played on a verse. So this part, the part with the F sharp, G sharp, A, and then B. And then go on to the next verse. So go on to the next verse. The next verse is gonna be played the same way for the first verse, and then go on to the next chorus. The next chorus is gonna play the exact same way you played the previous chorus. The only difference is gonna be towards the end of that chorus. So you play the E, E flat five, D, A, and then B. Like always, you play it three times. After you play it three times, you go to the F sharp, G sharp, A, and then B. And then repeat it one more time for the second chorus. And there's this like little instrumental slash bridge part that comes after this chorus. And for that, you're pretty much gonna play the exact same thing you play in the first chorus. Then you go into the next verse. Next verse is gonna be the same way you played the previous verse. And go into last chorus, 
of a song. The last chorus of a song is going to play the same way you play the second chorus. So the one where you repeat this part twice. And that's how it's all that. So this is how the whole song sounds like all together. video i hope to forget to leave a like subscribe to more videos like this share with your friend think you might need it leave a comment down below on what to really like to see next and i'll see you next time